Today is 11, November 11. 11, 11, 22. The half day. So I am half tempted to call this chapter Tentacle Stuff. And what else is yeah, in the what else is in the rendy what else is in the running? <laughs> Literally nothing else. Oh uh, no, involuntary manslaughter. No sheets to dick out. <laughs> Discount Cthulhu. That's also pretty strong. Okay, so as we guys as uh we came from the last session, Ooh, you guys were entering the mines here in uh, Brixenburg, and you guys made your way down, finding uh, a group of um a group of individuals that seemed like they were messing with the carts. Um, Gromit went up in his new foreman outfit and basically scared them away with uh, too many logistics. And asking them about exactly what they were doing on site. You guys uh, frightened them and scared them away um, with lawyer and legal talk at the same time before adjusting the cart and seeing that uh, there's two different carts that go to di two different parts of the, uh, the mine. And you guys decided to just shove one of the carts down. You guys heard the carts go all the way down before it came to a settling halt. And you guys thought that it sounded like it was all clear and all safe. As you guys went down the long trackway, you found that there was a giant spider web that had caught the the cart, and there was a large spider creature with a floating knife that you guys had to fight. After extinguishing the creature and making your way down the rest of the cartway, you guys found yourselves at the deeper part of the caverns. You made your way into another room before having a, a small fight and finding a uh, a room full with corium devices and weapons. And you guys decided to take one handgun that runs on corium. And then on the table was a diamond bladed chainsaw that looked like it could cut through types of rock and debris. Um, it needed to run off of a chunk, which... Um, Evan has on him, so he is able to operate the device. But as you guys persisted through the rest of the caverns, you found yourselves in a room with a bunch of these four-legged creatures with large, like, teeth and maws. But you guys all um, passed on a stealth check, made your way through the room here, before finding the main lowest section, where there is a giant tentacle coming out of the ground, Surrounded at the base of it is the Light of Corium, where you guys found Scooter looking up at the tentacle before he turned around with eyes gleaming of the same as the Corium crystals itself, saying that he is Zeolanthia, he is the Alpha and the Omega, the Beginner and its Destroyer. Scooter! Um, stop talking such nonsense and come down from there, all right? This is getting kind of, uh, scary. You see the backside, you see that scooter begins to lift off the ground about five feet, and you can see that there's almost this long, long, almost like tendril that goes from the actual tentacle almost like into his back. Guys, I... I really don't. I'm in, I'm in over my head right now, to be quite honest. Um, you know, um, scooter. That is horrifying. <laughs> and I'm okay. And I just start like pulling out, pulling out my weapon, and thinking to myself, maybe if I somehow detach that tentacle, it, maybe we can actually salvage this guy's life. Or. Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully he's not too far gone. As Scooter's body begins to bend, as the tentacle kind of like keeps pushing him up into the air there, he speaks out, Sir Nicholas, are you happy now that you brought all your friends to their death? The Look, mate, that's not, th that's not my doing. Matter of fact, uh, no, fuck you. 
Yeah. Well, scooter on the tentacle, or is it just floating? There's like a long, thin tentacle that goes from the large one into his back. Okay. And he is I... elevated in the air from it. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Um, why are you touching a little boy with your tentacle? That seems... Look, I don't want to put any words in anybody's mouth. It just seems strange that you'd be touching a young man <laughs> with a tentacle. This thing sentient of the tentacle is itself a sentient? It is wriggling. It is moving. Well, fuck this. And then I'm about ready to start taking shots. I start aiming and looking for, like, a spot that just Art. qualifies as a target to me. All right, everybody. If anyone else has any objections, I'm going to fucking take a round at it. All oh, right. I'm going to get my moves. Zero everybody, over here. Roll oh, for initiative. Evan. 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 Grommet. Is that anyone playing for um, Kelly? Yeah. I might have to just go. Sure. Then we got Scooter. And... Well, let's guess I did. Wallace Walmsley. Purple for him. Ooh. Hands like a... Scooter did really good. For being scooter. Evan, what'd you get? A natural twenty plus one or okay. plus two. Very nice. Gromit, what'd you get? Twenty two. Let's find out. Eighteen. Twenty three. Twenty what? What? Twenty three? We're on the initiative, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 23. Okay. I got 18, and then my initiative is plus 5. Okay, Todd. 3 plus, nine, uh, three plus 6, a 9. Okay, and Sir Nicholas. A 7. A natural 1 plus 6. <laughs> okay. Even with a natural 20, Gromit goes first with a 23. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> I was not the fastest. Yeah. Gromit, you enter into the room here. You are 30 feet away. Uh, you can see that Scooter is hanging five feet up into the air by a long tendril that attaches to the large, like, in uh, the 60-foot-high tentacle inside this cavern coming out of the earth. Okay. So he's not that far up. No, he's just kind of hovering mm -hmm. off the ground a little. Hmm. I was like, attack the tentacle, not my, my friend, if you can help it. That's what uh, I was going to do. That's yeah, good. And, uh, yeah, I'll attack the tendril. You want to run up to it and attack it? Yeah, and then... Okay, you run up to it. and Yeah, you're... I'll try and save this friend. Hey, buddy, okay. So I will go and try and attack the uh, the part that's, you know, attached to Scooter. Sure. Yeah. Make an attack roll. So you, you guys see that Gromit runs into the room and goes to make the attack roll. Mm -hmm. Make an attack on the tendril. Nineteen. 19 does hit. Okay. Um, 28 plus 30. Nice. Uh, six, nine damage. Is it a magical weapon? <clears throat> Did they get a magical right here? I, no. I, I, thought, I thought we gave you a magical weapon. I don't know if you're using it. But... I thought Kelly got it. Kelly yeah. did get a magical rapier. Yeah, Sophie got it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. 
No, you strike it. It just doesn't seem to uh, affect it as greatly. Hmm. Can I hide? <laughs> <laughs> For a bonus action? Oh, fuck, right. Um, I forgot, I haven't played this guy for a So, my sneak attack... Because there's no other enemies, right? Uh, I would consider Scooter as another enemy at this point. Oh, okay, never mind that. That's fine. Okay. You can do your bonus offhand attack for a bonus action if you'd like. I can, but I'm going to be standing there. No, like health coming through. <laughs> it sounds like he wants to bonus action disengage. Bonus action, bonus action get the fuck out of there. Yeah. So what would you like We're to do? Try. Is there anywhere to hide? Just you would have. Like, you um, would have to disengage from the creatures, so you would get struck by both. Well, let's just do a full grommet and I'll attack it with the knife and... You got it. <laughs> Did you do what? All right. Be better. 16 plus the dagger. Uh, 16 plus 6. Okay, that definitely hits. All right. Oh, can it be poisoned? It cannot. It has immunity mm -hmm. to poison. All right. That... I bet you Scooter doesn't, though. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to... If it comes to that, I'll do that. But I'm trying to help. I don't know their... Their friendship. Yeah, their friendship. And it's a five. Five total? Four plus five. Uh, no. No, yeah, I think it is five. Yeah. Okay, cool. Evan, it would be your turn. All right, I'm just going to look at this shit and be like, well, sorry, Scooter. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm not going to hold back any shots. I just kind of like cock my little uh, wristband uh, deal, and I'm going to hit Gertie. Uh, I'm going to hit Gromit and myself with some combat stems, which is the equivalent okay. of Bless as my action. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I don't believe I have, or I mean, I, did I have my last? I don't think I have a cannon up. I really don't. I'm gonna check. I mean, I almost want to check the last uh, stream. Either way, and so uh, I've got I've got twelve temporary hit points. I have yeah, believe my hit points. I have so five. I will check more. Have up, but I'm not sure. I'm but not me. Please. I did say like <laughs> Delvin. I think you had ended up recovering the end, and as you guys went down the minecart, it ended. Okay. Well, then I'm out. That's it. Because you guys decided to walk the mine rail. That's right. Yeah, and it was like 15 minutes a section. Yeah, so it, it took quite a while. So it would have ran out. Fair enough. All right, then we're done. Okay. So at oh. initiative 20. Yeah is the layer action. So did you give us stims? He gave yeah, you, you guys bless. bless. He gave you bless. So what does that do? Sorry. Uh, you get to add a d4 on your to hit rolls. Oh. And skill checks. Uh, oh, it's a uh, ability. I'm sorry, no, it's uh, just attack rolls and saving throws. One, two, three, four. Oh, attack rolls and saving <laughs> Okay, they so... Do skill checks with it, that way it doesn't work for concentration. Okay, so... Um, the bright lights begin flashing from underneath the tendril there. I'm going to roll a d4 to see who gets affected by this. Number three, one, two, three. Sir Nicholas, I'm going to need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw as the Corium's bright flashing lights hypnotize your eyes. This is the layer action. From who? For you. Ah, okay. A wisdom what saving, kind of saving throw? throw. A wisdom, wisdom saving, saving throw. throw, DC 13. Oh, I've got I've got this in the bag with an eleven plus three to fourteen. Okay, then you are not stunned for the turn. And that was the layer action. At initiative sixteen, it is Scooter. You can see that Scooter's here, and uh, he holds a hand out, and he goes, "I know you won't hold back." 
and you can see like there's a glimmer of scooter for a second before this magical cold hand reaches out to you and it grabs you in the chest there evan and he's going to use chill touch he has a oh, shit. plus six to hit that is a five so 11. oh that's a miss that misses so uh scooters turn misses on initiative 11 is the tendrils turn and uh the tendril weaves back and forth motherfucker i could have just left <laughs> well, i have that... fancy footwork oh yeah you could have left um <laughs> it is it. it is here that uh the tentacle is going to use part of a slam and it has it has its full reach of 50 feet because it's the full thing um it's gonna try to strike you uh gromit because you're close and you hit it first it gets two attacks so its first yeah. tentacle attack is a six Misses. plus seven 13. this is okay and its sent second tentacle attack is a four plus seven it's even less mm -hmm. so those two completely miss and on the next initiative it is todd okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ba, 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 cast magic missile at tentacle okay uh one d4 plus one which will be a four so that's five uh times three uh 15 damage it? yeah yeah three uh yeah 15. okay the magic missiles just strike into it. Just okay. Fifteen whole ass damage, and I'm just gonna set up uh, uh, anthrax to uh, slap a tentacle uh, if it uh, attempts to attack anything. <laughs> okay, it is here that the tentacle is going to use its legendary action. You can see that um, more of the bla the flashing bright lights from underneath. Uh, start going off. Evan, I need you to make a constitution saving throw as uh, the bright lights start distracting your eyes and and giving you a bit of a blurred vision. That would be a 20. Is an attack. <laughs> it's a legendary action. No. It's, so, an no attack. it's an ability, not an attack. Yeah. You save Just checking uh, to be sure. from the con saving throw. With a 20. Okay, next Ooh. in the initiative is Sir Nicholas. All right, Sir Nick is going to cast Acid Arrow at the uh, tentacle. Okay. I get plus seven. Come on, that 20. Come on, that 20. <laughs> yeah, baby! Hold on, <laughs> I, can, I can take a picture with my phone. <laughs> Don't you love it when you call for it and the world provides? Yeah, yeah. I also love it because this does 44, so it's about to do 84. Okay. All I'm gonna say is if you call Nat 20 every single time, <laughs> sooner or later you'll hit it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do eight a d4. Okay. For a total. Oh god damn it. I forgot I have fucking acceleration turned off, damn it. Um Come on, Peter. Don't tell me you're rolling the dice on D and D beyond. Uh, for a total of 26. I mean, D&D &D Beyond has a tendency to be pretty nice to me, uh, if I'm rolling D4s. <laughs> yeah, but that's because see... you've got a 25% chance of rolling good. <laughs> Alright, exactly. top of the round. It would be Gromit. Okay. I'm going to try and this thing off again. Okay. 
<laughs> You're the only one in like melee combat with this thing. Yeah, fourteen. Uh, what happened to Gertie? Ger- where's Gertie? Yeah, where's Gertie? Yeah, where's Gertie's turn? Gertie's turn. So, who has Gertie's turn? Unless one of y'all, I was playing her last time, but I don't. I have. It's not opening. I have Gertie's sheet, but. <laughs> I don't have. What's her plus if to she's hit? A... That's pretty much all we need as a. What is she? A rogue monk? What's assassin. Just rogue. Like rogue assassin? Is she just outright rogue? Uh, um... she'll be she'll be stepping out for this one. If you guys all die, you can blame her. That's fine. Okay, fine. She's having <laughs> heart murmurs. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> But like she came in, saw tentacles, and was like, "Nope, I know well, how this stuff goes." Well, then, if that's the case, uh, who wants a bless that I wouldn't have used on her? I'll take the. Hey, bless. give that bless to give that bless to our boy. It's only three of us, right? Oh, give the. Bu- oh wait, is is it a creature that you can see? Yes. Yes. Fuck. Yeah, you take it, Will. Your rolls are awful anyway. Yeah, you get bless, Will. I'll I'll take it. Okay. So, Gromit, you're going to make your attack strikes on it? Don't forget, you get a d4 every attack. Yes. Oh, no. I, I, every attack? Every attack. Every, for how long? A minute. Until, um, yeah, a minute. Ten turns. Wow. <laughs> or until <laughs> I get knocked sexy. silly. Yeah, that's... Uh, 16 plus 6. Dude, some of these tokens are fucking hot. They are really good. Hot. D8. Five, six, seven, eight damage. Okay. Again, you slash into it. It doesn't seem to quite do the effect that you're hoping. No, it's not working. <laughs> what else would you like to do? Back up for a bit. So I am gonna. Is there anywhere to hide? Like just to. I'll say that there is like like fallen debris from the roof and stuff like that. Like a rock, you could go hide around. Okay, so I will go hide behind a rock. Okay. If you want to give cool, me a stealth check. That thing goes... Yeah, if you want to give me a stealth check. What? If you want to give me a stealth check. Oh, a stealth check. Or a stealth roll. I keep coming to this thropter, man. This thropter. Not 20. Me. Wow, okay. Not 20. It's no good. And then Evan, hey. it is Evan, it is your turn. Okay, I'm simply going to take a fat-ass shot at the meatiest portion of the tentacle that I can find that I think is going to make the most damage. You got it. I do it, nat 19. Uh, so that, ooh, this might be good. That's going to be for, I'm assuming a 28 hits, right? Yes. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, so then that would be for a 21 points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, and, and then I'm just going to try and get out of line of sight if there's any cover. Uh, you could probably duck behind a rock and I'd give you like a quarter cover. It is a 50-foot right. tentacle. Yeah, but like how... I'm just trying to get out of line of sight of uh, Scooter. Oh. <laughs> uh, but you're also not a small creature, right? I'm a medium size. Yeah, yeah. Gromit's a small creature. I'd probably give you like a quarter cover if you went behind a Fair some kind of boulder or something. That, good enough for me. I'm not exactly out of line of sight. Gotcha. That's okay. good enough. Hey, you get bonus AC though. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so a quarter cover? Wait, wait. Quarter is that only I think that's a plus one. So it is here that it is a layer action. So we're going to roll a d4 to find out which one happens. That's a 4, which is drain life. You see that the tentacle between Scooter and the tentacle, you see that Scooter begins to look like his skin begins to dry out and he ages a few years radically quickly. And the creature sucks life directly from him. Motherfucker. You let my friend go! <laughs> Don't suck, you weird pervert tentacle! 
and the scooter. I don't think that's consensual. <laughs> The scooter takes 13 points of damage in the layer action. Why is it we always fight the perverted enemies? When you guys make them fire? perverted. You guys are the perverted enemy. <laughs> Look, you're the one doing the suck, okay? Yeah, you're the one. You're the one who gave him the ability to life suck, to suck the life, man. It's I just, didn't do that. There was no word of <laughs> there was no word of suck. I said drain life and you said it sucks the <laughs> life it, rapid, they, it rapidly ages it's doing the life suck it's sucking his life <laughs> and then like, it, it is you already nutted time. a long time ago and you just keep on sucking <laughs> and then it <laughs> and then it is scooter's turn he is going to try to use a chill touch attack out on todd oh dang it he has a plus i am going to well, wait. Uh, let's see if it succeeds first. A 15 plus 6, a 21. Uh, yeah. We are going to... We are going to Silvery Barbs with my last first level spell slot. Okay. To give... Uh, Todd hasn't gone yet, right? No, not yet. Uh, Todd, you have advantage. It has disadvantage. The disadvantage is a 14 plus 6. Dirty I thing. tried. Uh, it still hits. Okay. 2d8 cold damage. A six and an eight. I don't eight. even know why I looked at my... Oh, what? Yeah, a two to eight. eight cold damage. You take 14 points of cold damage, and you cannot recover hit points until its next turn. 14. Uh, fuck, wait. How much temporary hit points did I have? Shit, 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 shit. Wait, wait, wait. I had it written down. I had it written down. It was in my notes. I'm so slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we all knew you were... But... Okay. Okay, no. We're good. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. How many temp hit points did you have? It was like 12. Wow. I had the good I had the good temp. I had me good temp. Translation. Wow. He did not. And on the next turn, it is the tentacles turn. Hmm. Yeah, the tentacle really just makes this, these uh, slam attacks. So it's going to make uh, two slam attacks onto the two people who are able to be noticed. One onto Sir Nicholas and the other one onto um, Todd. Oi. Okay. Sir Nicholas will let you go first. So slam attack plus seven to hit. That is a 19 plus seven. 26. Yep, that hit. Okay, and it is for 2d6 plus 3. 4 and a 3 plus 3. You take 10 points of bludgeoning damage as it strikes you. Uh, my overshield attack is low. Okay, I understood that. And then, Todd, here comes your slam attack, which is a 16 yep. plus 7. I imagine that's a... A 16 alone would have hit. <laughs> Yep, so 2d6 plus 3, that's a 5, and a 3, 11. 11 damage, mm -hmm. ouch. And then next in the initiative is Todd's turn. Okay, so fuck this guy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my... Where is it? 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 Yeah, one of my sorcery points okay. to twin cast this bitch. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire bolt first the tentacle. Okay. Which will be a seventeen plus a lot. What's a lot? Oh, uh, so a total of twenty four plus the extra d four will be two. So twenty six. Will twenty six hit? Yes. Damn right it'll hit. <laughs> so that's two d ten fire. For total damage of 10 damage okay. to the tentacle. Mm -hmm. And then my second one's going for uh, old buddy over there. Scooter. Scooter. And that'll <laughs> be... <laughs> First person to strike Scooter. Look, I'm, I'm just saying he's giving it more life. <laughs> it's killing him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so is he 
<laughs> will a 22 hit? A 22 will hit. For Little Scooter, who's just dressed 11 in... 11 damage. Okay. <laughs> who's also and... missing a shoe. Remember that. Yes. He was missing a shoe. Yeah, he was about to be missing his life. <laughs> that might happen very soon. Anyway. That's your turn? Yeah. I was supposed to attack when the freaking uh, thingy whacked... Uh, because Anthrax, but I'm Tardo. Okay, so as a legendary action, Scooter is going to go again. As he is controlling Scooter, and he's going to make another chill touch attack down onto the one who just struck him. Todd. Drop my ass, I dare you. He probably will. <laughs> uh, his chill touch. So it's a 9 plus 6, 15. Yep. 2d8. A, yep. a three and a two, five. Way less this time. Oh. I'm barely still in there. Okay. Next in the initiative is Sir Nicholas. Okay. You know what I forgot to do? Couldn't tell you. What? Crit again? I forgot to deal with an additional, uh, uh, an additional 2d4 on the end of its turn. But that's fine. I'll just miss that damage because I'm a just stupid bitch. Um, what we finna gonna do is I'm gonna hit it, uh, hit the tentacle with another acid arrow. Okay. Does a nineteen plus seven a twenty-six hit? <laughs> yes, you guys have had extremely good rolls at hitting. Seven. Uh, 18 points of acid damage. Whoa. And then on the end of its next turn, it takes another 2d4. How did you get that much damage if it's 4d4s? Oh, fuck. I rolled 6. Um, let me re-roll that. Let me just completely re-roll that. Because it is 4d4s, right? Yeah, it is 4d4. Okay. I, I don't know why I thought it was another crit. I rolled the same number of dice as I did for a crit. For so you rolled eight again? Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. I'd be like, man, that's a great spell. Um, Thirteen points of acid damage, and then another two d four on its next turn. Okay. So then it comes top of the round, Evan. I mean Gromit. You are stealthing with your natural twenty. <laughs> um. So how far away am I from it? Right About now? 15 feet, I'd say. 15 feet, so I could... You can run back up and make a strike. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Go for it. Uh -huh. You get advantage with your strike. Okay, I just rolled a 19. <laughs> you can roll one higher, man. 22. <laughs> that definitely hits. Yeah. Same spot. I'm trying to cut this thing off. It, it's like cutting it off. It's like super thick and super big. Oh, I thought it was just like... Like a... Oh, no, no, no. It's It's... It's a big tendril. Oh. Fuck, I know what I should have done. <laughs> well, you made your attack, so do the damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, D8. It's again. Great Ooh, it's a four. Okay. And then you have your bonus action. What would you like to do? I can't use spell. Uh, 
自立。And then I can move back, right? Because of fancy、uh, footwork, yeah. Could I hex? Hex it says can be a bonus action, right? Hex is a bonus action, yeah. Okay, and then I can、yep. turn back. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna hex it. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Next in the initiative, that is Evan. I'm just gonna yell at Todd. I'm like Todd, you dumbass. Scooter's a fucking victim. Let's try and save him before <laughs> the tentacle kills him. The chances are slim enough as it is. I'm just gonna take <laughs> off a shot at the tentacle. You got it. Uh, uh will a、uh, 15 hit? A 15 does not hit the tentacle. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I forgot to add my bless. That's adds two. Will a 17 hit? A 17 just hits the tentacle, and it's natural、nice. armor. Ah,、uh, that'll be for 19 fire damage. Okay. Freaking laser. <laughs> Bless for the win. Sneaks with lasers on their head. Okay. Next in the initiative is Scooter, who's going to、uh, hold his hand out, and he is going to use a chill touch out onto、uh, the one who's firing these poison arrows. So he's going to make it out to Sir Nicholas. AC fifteen. Okay, that was a seven plus. Set fourteen, one under. Wow. The chill touch. I like to imagine he tries to choke me, and I'm just like slapping it away, and I'm like, <laughs> "Fucking pervert!"、Uh. <laughs> um, you said you roll two d four poison damage on the beginning of Zealanthia's turn. At the end. Oh, I'm sorry. I also missed a layer action on the twenty, so we're gonna do that. Layer action, one d four, a four life drain again. Oh no, he's getting the <laughs> suck. Four, three, suck. seven. He gets another thirteen points of damage. You can see that your friend Scooter's like his age is like whittling away here. His uh, his skin is like shriveling. He's getting malnourished and a bit more gray. I don't know. I kind of feel bad without Gertie. We don't have the DPS to save his life. <laughs> <laughs> And then it is its turn. It is going to. You know what? Instead, it's going to use an ability of、um, it's called Radiant Corium. And I'm going to roll D4 on who exactly it hits. Four. One, two, three, four. So that is. In my screen, that is you, Todd. Todd, reaction slap. No, no, it's an ability. It's not making nope, an attack. No, no, no. You said hit. You you said hit. That's an attack. You have to make a、it's、saving throw. You're making a saving throw. Ah,、uh, what am I saving? So、uh-huh. the the ground underneath you lights up, and an explosion of ra- like radiant corium explodes beneath your feet. Make me a deck saving throw. You got blessed. Uh, If you see, save, 15, you get fifteen, and then the bless makes it. Hey, nice nineteen. You save.、Um, you take half damage from thirteen, so you take six points、I、of、drop. damage. I drop. You took <laughs> six points of damage. I drop. As a an explosion of corium goes off beneath Todd's feet, you see that he goes flying back about five feet and lands on the ground. Not moving. <laughs> Oh shit! Wait, who fell down? Sorry, Todd. And then it is your turn, Todd. Todd, make me a death saving throw. You have bless. One. <laughs> I do, in fact, have bless. So that'll be. On that one. Oh no, a twelve. <laughs> okay, one success. One whole success. Sir Nicholas, it is your turn. As the thing. Okay. As the.、Uh, oh, that thing took two d four. Okay, that's right.、Uh, it takes four more poison or four more acid damage. Okay, as the thing reaches out and you can see that Scooter begins to talk again, he goes, "Look, Sir Nicholas, your friends will drop. Your friends will die here. When you came down into the earth to find us, 
you became released. You gained your second life. Even know who you are, Firebolt. Okay. Hey, does 21 hit? 21 hits. 14 plus 7. Uh, for 2d tans. For a total of 15 fire damage. Woo! Okay. And then... Do I have... Oh, no, that's, uh, that's, that's too bad for you. Well, I don't have any potions. Um, yeah. Okay, it is going I to... I think, no, I, we, on our last, uh... Before we you came... We should have, we had, like, four lessers and two regulars. I know I have yep. I two regulars it. and... Do I have all of them? I think you took them all. Fuck! <laughs> 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 Okay, so, well, on, it looks like it's my job. On its turn, it gets its legendary action, a d4, which is a 4. It is going to use its dizzying spell, and then who is it going to do it to? Number 2, Gromit. I need you no. to make me a constitution saving throw as the light of Corium underneath it begins to make your eyes go hazy. You have plus. I'll yeah. remind everyone if I can. 18... These mm. rolls are out of control. Like, everybody's been like, yeah, 19, 18, Dude, 17. Dirty, <laughs> dirty 20. Yes. Plus constitution is plus 2, 22. Yes. To be fair, I add a plus 9 on my attack rolls. Right, and you've you've almost missed once. <laughs> Bless for the win. Yeah. <laughs> but these rolls have been out of control. So... Uh, yeah, you save from the constitution saving throw. Um, Whenever I make attack rolls, I roll five dice at once. <laughs> Top of the round. Gromit, it is your turn. Move. Okay. <clears throat> run out again. Rapier. Okay, you run out again. The rapier attack with Hex on. Hex on. Another 13. Well, not another 13. 13. 13 uh, total? Uh, plus, no. Oh. No. 13. 13 plus 6. Plus 6. Four, 19. 19. That strikes the tentacle. 20. 20. <laughs> okay. That definitely okay. hits. Right. Roll it with your with uh, your hex damage. Uh, yeah. Hex damage. 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, hex is a d6. Good damage. That's not. Uh, three plus three, six, eight. So eight altogether. Eight altogether. So how much is the slashing damage total? Rapier's piercing damage. Okay, yeah. But how much was that? Uh, I got a three, and then plus three piercing. So you got six there. So six, and then I got I rolled a two on the d6. So the six halved is three, and then the other damage was two? Yeah. So a total of five? Five. Oh. As you run up and strike as you run up and strike the tentacle here, you can see that it starts to writhe and wriggle before it just <laughs> sinks straight back down into the ground, releasing scooter before it sinks back into the earth. It is here in this moment that Todd is laid out completely flat. But you can hear the skittering and screeching of all of these creatures in the other tunnels. As the screeching gets louder and louder, you see all of the monsters that were in the tunnels flood to the hole. They run past all of you before leaping down into the cratering hole that was created, following after the tentacle. My god, they're like lemmings. Only uglier. <laughs> 
Todd, give me another death saving throw. Oh no, it'd be my turn before Todd's turn, and I'd have things to do about that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like all the creatures are probably like toppling over them as they run. You bitch! Right. <laughs> They're just like <laughs> awkward, like kicking over <laughs> yeah, the <it> team. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, you are still uh, sustained as uh, all of these creatures, like some of them, kind of stampede over you. Some of them run around you. One steals your wallet. They keep gone going. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch One stumps on your chest, takes your wallet. Yeah. One takes your lawyer card. <laughs> I should what probably call, card? <laughs> call this guy yeah. sometime. He doesn't pass the bar. <laughs> he doesn't even know what a bar is. <laughs> I've read subpar dis- half destroyed books to get as far as I've gone this this far. <laughs> and you like... see that pretty impressive let's be honest and you see that in the center of the room you guys see that scooter is laying flat on his uh flat on his face unhooked from the tentacle and uh you guys are here and todd is down okay i'm gonna snap my fingers summon my cat toss it a potion and be like quickly shove this down todd's throat and i'm gonna run the scooter and try to do the same with a potion of mine okay Just give it to me <laughs> i'll do it Sure. I'll toss you a, a full health, like a regular health potion. Okay. I will use the health potion on... Scooter? Uh, scooter. Okay. Um... And I'm just going to use a, a small health potion on Todd's dumbass for shooting <laughs> Scooter. <laughs> are you going to make him roll his own health, or are you going to do it for him? No, I'll roll it for his ass. Uh, nine hit points to Scoop. Oh, okay. he's lucky. All right. Uh, it's uh, 2d4 plus 4, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 2d4 or... plus 2. 2. Oh, 2d4. Okay. So you get 9 hit points. A. Hey. Welcome back to the land of the living. Uh... Living hurts. <laughs> well... Pain is a reminder you're alive. Be thankful you can experience it. And I'm just gonna drag myself up. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna go walk up to Scooter's ass. Try to make sure he's he's still alive. We're probably aged to like 55 by now from all the drain lives. <laughs> As you go over to go it. check out Scooter here, he definitely seems um like his skin has dried out. He's definitely weathered, but as you give him the health potion, you can see he kind of comes back to consciousness, and he's just like, "Oh, oh, what is? Ah, what is that?" As he sees only Sir Nicholas in his face. Oh yeah, <laughs> thanks, mate. I only just fucking saved your life. Saved my life? Well, you were dying from the explosion. Yeah, Scooter, it's it's me. You know what? He's I'm... with us. As he looks up and he kind of sits up, he's like. God, are we in the mines? Hey, Evan! Yeah. What's the hey. last thing you remember, man? I remember... I, I remember you come and talk to me. Like, it was... It was just, like, a moment ago. You you came up and talked to me. And, and you said you were leaving town. And I was, I was tinkering with the machine. And I put too many couplers on it to, to gain more voltage for the bomb we wanted to make to come down here. But... Yeah. And then it all went black really quick. And now now I'm here. Oh man, well let's just you know, let's be thankful you remember it that way. Well, let's put it that way. What happened? Okay? What happened? Well, let's just say and I, I'm just gonna kinda like just check his back and just see if there's any gaping wound from the <laughs> tentacle mark. Uh you go to check his back and all you can see is like a black sludge circle. And just wipe it off with my hand. Okay. Um, is everything all right? This is my. I like yeah, this are jacket. You, are you okay, like, are you in any pain, man? You were just you were in an accident. You see, he goes to try like stand up, but his knees just completely give out on him. He's like, man, what happened? Uh, well, where are we? We're we're in the quarry of mine. You know. 
we we made it in and Wait. uh well it's not what we thought it was gonna be <laughs> no monsters down here monsters <laughs> he looks over and grommet's yelling at him he's like ah <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a monster down there's, here, and uh, there's a frog covered in like <laughs> construction equipment. Has <laughs> the fog seemed to like dissipate or out anything? of the hole? Yes, it seems to be thinning up. Yes, it's like there was a, a toxic fog that was making everyone hallucinate some really crazy shit. And uh, let's just be thankful that it only wiped your memory a little bit from the accident. So. Sir Nicholas still angry, Nicholas. Uh, it's it's slowly beginning to fade. You are getting less less on less edge. Ir- yeah, less irritable. I'm glad, the, <laughs> I'm glad the lad's all right. And it was a dick. Uh, this was magic, but I suppose that wasn't his fault. Magic? I don't know any magic. You know, to be fair, Sir Nicholas, I think that was more your fault, having ties to whatever that was that know what the hell that thing was. That was a tentacle monster. That's what that was. That thing. It knew you by name. How do you explain that? I don't know. Uh, Everybody else seems to forget me, so that's weird. Maybe it's what's left of one of the four uh, other, I guess, angels or whatever we were. I I really don't know. That's some weird shit. I'm not sure how to process any of this. Uh, hey, 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 Evan, Evan, can I scooter, can I can scooter, I talk to you here. real quick? Can I? Come? I brought this for you. Uh, you. You seem to be missing it, and I give him back his shoe. Oh, so did the whole <laughs> tentacle go back down then? The whole tentacle went back. Yeah. All right. Wait, why am I? He looks at his feet. He's like, "Why am I missing his shoe?" It was blown off in the explosion. You you, you fucked something up, and. Uh... And you were you in an accident. You exploded so hard. You exploded <laughs> so hard. Your shoes went flying. You knocked yourself unconscious. So and as, you made me look like this. As, as uh, you go to give him his shoe, he kind of like asks you to come close. Evan? Yeah. And, I lean in. And he goes, Evan, I'm really afraid. Uh, I got a question. Have yeah. you Have you joined a gang? Uh... <laughs> I just look around and was like you know at this point I don't know if Rowan has a rape and he just like <laughs> cracks it kidnapped <laughs> and not exactly against my will I'm still leaning towards one or the other cause you're cause you guys are talking about angels and he's talking about PPE and it sounds I'm kind of confused at what what angle oh, you guys yeah. are going on at? You don't, you don't understand the amount of stories that I have to offer in just a few amount of days. Yes, it's been days since I've been gone. and No, uh, you left a few minutes ago. Exactly why you have brain damage. You have brain damage, man. I'm a smart guy. Well, I've been gone for like th- three days. Which fingers am I holding up? Can I make eight <laughs> fingers on the ends of my hand? He looks at them and you see his eyes just like squint really hard and he's like, I don't feel so good. And he turns and just begins to puke. Come here, man. man. Puke in this hole. (laughs) Did you say puke in this hole? Yeah, so I'm going to guide him (laughs) over the hole and down the thing where everything went and, like, make sure he doesn't fall in it so he can puke somewhere we won't accidentally step in it. I'm going to let the Taos folk fill you in on all you missed out. Like I said, I've been gone for days. Actually, out of character. How many days have I been gone? I can't. I can't. It's been like a week. Yeah, I think it's been like a week or a week and a half. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I've been gone for a little, little over a week. So if you can only remember me leaving a few minutes ago, well, I guess you can probably hopefully sort out the rest. So-called smart guy. Okay. At least he doesn't have to deal with weird shit like ghosts. He that puke. is a ghost. You can ignore it. He pukes in the hole again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let it out. Let it out. 
You really, you really need to announce when, when, when you're going to do that. I don't think he has a choice. No. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I kind of scoop him up, try and help as best as I can, and I was like, all right, well, guys, uh, let's get the hell out of here. It's in this moment that um, one of the tunnels that you guys didn't come from, you can start hearing a loud, deepened voice coming as an echoing through. You can hear that. Um, it's a familiar voice to you, Evan, coming through, but you can hear the, Hey, Ubi down there. Who's in my, who's in my, uh, my tunnels acting all up. And you can see that who comes out of the darkness is a small dwarven man who is the mayor of the city. All chest flask horn. <laughs> the guy who went deeper into the mine. Yeah, I'm gonna look right at him and go. Are you the owner of this mine? And you can see that he's strapped on his belt. He has like a pistol, but here, instead of half of his arm, he has a complete like a like a like a giant pickaxe built onto one of his arms now. Like in the week, and does he have any personal protection? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like he's. Yeah, he's like all strapped up in all kinds of stuff. Oh shit! That's meant for the mines. So he, ha so he has class three high vis on. I was like, uh, I just <laughs> solved uh, the town's fog problem. So uh, fog oh, problem. Man. I wasn't I minding it. feeling that way. As he scratches his head with the pickaxe real quick, he's just like, Are you the owner of this mine? Yeah, you weren't mining, but were you getting any workers helping your ass out? Workers help. We are down here slaying creatures. You can see no, that he, he he's uh, he's like covered in bits of blood from different like purple blood, red blood, blue blood. Oh god, so you were. What the hell. We? What be on down here know. with you? What's going on? This was the crash site. We were going to bring the bomb down here. The what? The bomb. What well. Yeah, the one that the boy was making as he points over to Scooter. You told him about our bomb? I directed to make the bomb. I let you use my garage. Yeah, but we didn't tell you where... I didn't tell you where we're making a bomb. I, I, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. <laughs> I'm anyway. just over here making notes about, like, <laughs> bomb terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we got rid of that giant-ass fucking tentacle thing that was uh, here. Why? I don't know what the hell it was. He goes and stands over uh, stands over the hole real quick, like looking straight down in it. Oh, shit. We need something that digs that good. Maybe you should get that tentacle back and hire it. Nah. I bet it wants too much money. Benefits and shit. Comes with no, all of its free really workers that you can just kill for fun, apparently. Ah, they be Fuck. workers. All right, well, I'm tired, I'm hungry, my face hurts, I'm ready to go home. With a face like that, my face would hurt too, son, as he grabs you on the shoulder. I only have one question for you, man, uh, I little dwarven man. Um, do you own this mine? This be my mine? Do you have any idea how many OSHA violations are in this mine? Yeah. Fuck, so who, call many. who called these people on us? I never let you down here. I always shut the gates, the front, when you guys come. Oh no! It wasn't Look, you was not there when we time. came down here. Don't worry, just just chalk it up as fog madness, and just consider it a state of emergency. And <laughs> very die. good, young lad. Young we lad. Very trespassers good. throwing people down mines and stuff. Yeah, it looks like That's you guys be trespassing. Way. That's what this be looking like. But I'll give you a pass. You know. By the way, Grung, great outfit. <laughs> Look, you have to be a class three. You can't be on property without class three apparel. He looks at all of your friends and he goes, "What about all them?" Look, I only was able to find the one. Like, we're... <laughs> I read the book, and uh, you know they're not under my jurisdiction. I like, start... I'm not. I did not give him a brief. Or, but, I don't know. I'm just Start saying so. Don't have stuff. any bones to Nothing's break, working. so. Yeah. 
I'm out of juice. I need to go take a rest. Power back up. All right. Maybe you guys can fix, uh, do some tweaking and make a new bomb just in case that thing ever comes back. Now, yeah. Look, he's just admitting to making bombs just right in my presence. I, I don't know how to take this. <laughs> he is in the hands of the right people can cause the right damage. Does he look I mean, like the right people to you? <laughs> you he see that like he's a... like like unscrewing his pickaxe and just putting some oil in it, wheeling it back on, and then just like striking the wall, <laughs> make sure it's good. Look, I've known this man all my whole life, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he's a perfect person of character that would be suitable to carry around a bomb in place wherever <laughs> he sees fit. He's not going to hurt anyone. Much. Yeah. Uh, maybe he could hurt some rattling. I mean, do, do you realize you come from, well, in this town, we use dynamite quite regularly for mining purposes. We just add a little kick to it and, you know, like perk it up a bit and boom, it's a little bit more powerful and just solves a couple more problems all at once. At least that's the intended goal. We don't always get what we want. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go see some daybreak, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Um, damn it. When I go home, my sister's going to be there. Fuck. Can, do we, can, can you just say that I was killed want? in combat and tell my dad that um, I'm no longer around? I no. Just... Is this what you'd like, young lad? You don't want to return some kind of hero. You want to return dead on battlefield. I don't need any clout. How many sisters do you have? Two. Enough to be annoying as hell. Well, oh, if you want to punch one, up. I can paralyze the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I, no, I can I, touch I, people <laughs> and they freeze. Alright, listen, uh, listen, you're not going to go vandalizing and attacking the, the people of the town, okay? Nobody's right. attacking each other up there. No, no when we go no. back up there, there should be nobody no. dead, nobody hit, hurting each other. We killed like several people on the way here. <laughs> I haven't been up here in a while, have Wait, you? What? I was going to look at him straight up, I was like, we killed several people on the way here because they were going crazy. What? Why the fuck? <laughs> it was self defense. Yeah, they attacked us. My people, also, my people, are not harmful. I mean, hey, says who? Now. I'm just gonna ignore him at this point and continue walking because my patience has dwindled to the point to where I'm just tired. I'm not gonna argue with his nonsense it's like if he, he repeated himself like three times that his people's are non-violent and he doesn't believe mm. us that the purge occurred outside <laughs> well fuck him he can come see hey. for himself i've told him twice oh hey mr Dorkin. he had his chance to learn you get rattling you okay. rattling problems here rattlings nah we ain't got no rattlings we got walls we got guns we got weapons rattlings uh, and come Find nothing in our home. If you're not careful, they'll come through that fucking hole. But... Yeah. There's an uprising. I don't know how long you've been down here, but the sky's kind of messed up. No one look at it. Yeah, that hole. Fuck wait, it. wait. When's the last time you saw the surface, man? After the bomb went off. We, uh... Oh. Oh, well, lots of courage since the bomb went off. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, you need to go up onto the surface. Will yeah. do. That's why I wanted to go see some daybreak. Let, let's go. Let, let's let's catch you up. Trust me, you're going to want to look at this. And I, I warn you ahead of time. Don't freak out. Everything's seemingly under control to a certain extent. <laughs> As you guys make your way to the surface here, and all of you, including Scooter, with all of your friends, come out to the surface... You can see that there is a few dead people in the street, but here it's where the fog has completely dissipated, where it's mm. like whisked away with the weather. And the people are starting to slowly unboard the front of their houses and coming out to see the horrific nonsense that was happening outside. But it's here that uh, a chest looks up at the sky and he's like, Jesus, Murphy, look at that sweet Jesus rock. 
You know how rich you could be if you could pull that thing out the sky. As you can Best see, like luck to you. he lines his like arm up with the pickaxe, and he's just like, "If I could just get me a chunk, I'm rich." I'm pretty sure the chunk of your iron right now would be the size of this town. I'm sure it would too, son. It get me out of this hellhole. Actually, it'd probably just crash the economy. I mean, Corium's so expensive because it's so rare. Oh, you got a whole bunch of down here. You think I wouldn't have all that much money? You think I don't know that? I'm the one who buys it and it's drills a it. Resource. Look, it goes away after a while, so like it's it'll run out. The more you have now sounds good, but it'll go away eventually. Hmm. So it doesn't matter. He's got. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Let's just. I'm gonna go home. You are home, son. My house. <laughs> sure, you want to go there? No, <laughs> I don't. But at least I say hello to dad. Tell father that we fucking solved this problem. You can see that all just uh, as you guys go to walk away, he grabs he grabs Gromit's shoulder for a second. And he goes, "Listen, boy, you look good in an outfit like this. How about you come work for me? You want to work in the mines?" I need you. You could be used for protection. Pay a good Drum chunk of money. Need, an adult. need some chums of money. I need an adult. You want to learn to drive heavy machinery? As he like points into the shop at the giant drill rig. Hmm. No, but <laughs> you know, I don't know if you heard about the rattling crisis and they're kind of going everywhere underground. Ah, that's all nonsense and. No, they killed my people. Jesus Christ. How many of them were there? A lot. A lot. A lot. <clears throat> and they're still quite a bunch, but they're hurt and they're missing parts. But if they're able to, you know. Wait, the ratlings are missing parts or your people are missing parts? My people are missing parts. Jesus, those would be some big hungry ratlings. Yeah. So what you asking, but, boy? Well... You need help people with tunnels and work. Uh -huh. Possibly, if they're fair enough, like if there's a missing hand stuff and they're still able to work machinery and things like that, maybe they could be here. Do you want to integrate the rest of the grung, the grung uh, community into my cavern? Probably. Can we scouts? We can check stuff out. Reports. I'll tell you, they're hardworking people. I, I've seen them firsthand. I'm looking right at one. Now I'm believing it. Right? He looks oh, damn really good. really good at stabbing things, too. In case yeah. you, you need a militia. Well, with that with that good old poison on the uh, that comes out of you guys, it's uh, that I'm not surprised by, where you fiddle with some I mean, knives. It doesn't seem to help on those giant tentacles, but, you know, I stabbed them a lot. Didn't help. All right. Who do I reach out to to get some uh, such a thing in progress? Well, you're talking to like just the, me, the diplomat of the grung people. So <laughs> right there. You used to be a know. head honcho of grung community. I'm a runner, so I I was sent out to find somewhere where we can relocate. Mm. Must be a better place. Is there water around here? Uh, on the general map, the map that Caleb made quite a while ago, you guys weren't you guys weren't that far away. Also, you guys are right near the baseline of the mountainside, so like you could always get snow and ice and melt it. Is there a sewer here? Um, yeah, but not into like the deep tunnels. It's just a little like a little bit of just waste off like just okay. off to the side that could be a start i mean there will be two <clears throat> would a place like this just be better than what they're living in now we're in a cave and they're held off and apparently we're really tasty to skaven or, or the bratling so nasty skaven huh so all right what if uh 
You said some of them have one hand, some of them have two hands. Uh, if we had a pistol or a gun or a sword in each hand, they'd be pretty prepared. Mm -hmm. Well, where would they put the pick? They ain't going to need that if they're driving rigs. Okay. Driving rigs, scouting. Awesome. I'm gonna make you a letter. I'm gonna make you a letter up. We're gonna yes, get this. I need a work order. Yeah, we're gonna get this <laughs> sorted out. You're damn right you need a work order, son. As you can see, he walks into my sh his shop and he's like, What the fuck is this? It's because the explosion went off. Yeah. Um, like his, his table is destroyed and stuff like that. There's holes in the ceiling and at the side of the building. More of those pickles. There's tons of questions. madness and chaos going on. Who knows what we're in here? But it's here that you guys are outside of the tunnel where you can see many of the, the townspeople. You can see that there's uh, mothers and fathers holding their children coming out of the buildings to see all of you guys coming out of the tunnel. As they look terrified for a few moments before smiles and claps of applause and cheering of thank like thankfulness start to arise thanking all of you thank you thank you here's my business card this how did they know it was us <laughs> i just look around it's like man i knew where charles fast in this town but fuck i mean we did go into the mine and then come back out but no one yeah. else really do very much around here i guess right mm -hmm. Well, Seems like that everywhere we go. Easily pro easily solvable problems that can be solved with expeditious amounts of violence are just not <laughs> taken care of. I, you know, I, I, I can't argue with the facts. Okay, well, I, I don't like to agree with that idea, but no part of that statement was non-factual. It's strange. It's almost as if this entire world was designed in a way in which we solve all of everyone's problems. Except now you're just being it. weird. Now you're just being weird, Todd. That's weird. It's a weird idea. What? Look, I think I got hit in the head really hard, okay? Everything's just a little fuzzy. That's I mean, I'm pretty sure you were dead for a bit. I don't know. I didn't check. But, uh, I mean, you went down pretty hard. You just have the you got any brain damage? How many ha how many fingers am I holding up? Can I hold out a hand and make eight fingers? <laughs> uh. Scooter's also there, and he's just like, dude, I think one of those monsters stole your wallet. Yeah, where did my wallet go? Fuck. <laughs> you had a wallet? I don't know. I got hit really hard. <laughs> well, either way. Scooter. <laughs> How are you doing over there, man? Oh, my head so still wait, hurts. Did I lose my money or like? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> you just lost half of your uh, half of your business card stack. Awesome. Your Vista print order got cut in half you along the way. Five gold, gold pieces for that too. <laughs> you man, lost half your Vista print order. Those are expensive <laughs> cards. Those are nice cards. <laughs> You even got them laminated, so you knew it was expensive. They're laminated. Then uh, braille. Egg, eggshell white, raised <laughs> lettering. Braille on laminate? That would be so fun. Oh my god. It even had a watermark. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, <it's> a lot. <laughs> I just imagine there's braille, but then it got laminated, so it's flat again. <laughs> 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 and they got brailed over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Double brailed. Yeah. Just or, for, uh, or, they probably just said that. It's like, well, it doesn't make you can't laminate it because then you just wish when he's like, I said, what a cat. So, what even goes as far as taking the laminated braille and just taking a sharpie and trying to think like it's going to make yeah. a difference? Just dotted it. <laughs> <laughs> it's color. It's color that they call bone. <laughs> All right, Patrick. 
yeah so it's here that you guys are uh with the town um as the people are are cheering for you all and uh you can see that a lot of the families are uh very happy that they can unboard their doors again yep some people are going out and mourning those who have been slain out in the street that got uh, heavily infected by the fog madness and ended up dying. Those who are running around with pitchforks that didn't get to the mercy of death, you can see that they've dropped their weapon and run to their families. Well, that's good for them. Mm -hmm. All right, well... Since we got enough attention, I think it's time. I'm heading home. I just start walking towards my house. The, Is um, the mayor still with us? Ooh, or ooh, ooh, ooh. wait, I'd like to make an announcement. I'd like to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. People of this town, hear ye, hear ye. Keep an eye out on the hole inside the uh, mines. Just, just, just in case rats show up. Like, we, we had a couple of towns. They got absolutely fucked over by rats. Keep an eye on them. Second you see one, just stab it with your pitchforks. <laughs> Anything you got. Uh, try not to fight them alone. So Thank you. Thank so, you. Here's my card. Here's my card. Business card. As Todd, you go to announce this. For the gleaming hope on everybody's face for a little while that they had, that the town seemed safe, it slowly begins to wipe away. As now Good. a new threat gets noticed. Good. <laughs> it feels safe. Instantly a bit of. Look at bull crap. And I feel safe. How dare you feel safe? <laughs> Never feel safe. I can't make money off of you if you feel safe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is Todd, you idiot. And I go, hold on. So I help down there, and I'm considering help. My people are coming here. Help you with mining and fighting off these people, things. Stupid rats. So, if you give us a home here, we can help you fend off this against us and help you with your mining. As you see, uh, Gromit, yeah. uh, chest comes from behind you. He goes, You're damn right, because here's your work order. As you can see, that he's got a 10 page document stacked together. And he hands you it all, all, almost all in a duotang, and hands it to you. This should get you. This should get you every formality that you need. Get your boys across the border here. Hmm. Hey. Okay. Keep an eye out for the fine print. Robin, keep an eye on that. Can, can your people even read? That's why we have a lawyer in the touch <laughs> <laughs> Just proceeds to grab the paperwork and starts rifling through it. Like, hmm, yes. Yeah, yes. you can see that it has, like, uh, they can have new living only in the mine. You can see that they can have access to everything with permission. You can see that they do have work orders and work days and that they need to facilitate uh, through the time that they don't get benefits or vacation days until after 12 months. Stuff like that. Up, up, up! I said no benefits here. Mm, we're gonna have to talk about that one. It's, it's gonna circle back. Oh, right that's there. a little. That's mm. just a little here and there paperwork. It's not a big deal. Right. No, well, my, gonna... my lawyer will look over this, and then I go to sound like just make sure we. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, Gromit, it's gonna be all up and up in here. Three out of all the three out of the ten pages like are all regulations on no unionizing. <laughs> Look, they're trying to screw you over, Gromit. They're trying to screw you over real bad. <laughs> I, I just look at Gromit as like, yeah, it's a good thing you got Todd on the case because I'm pretty confident they would try to screw you over. Yeah. I've been screwing my father over for quite some time. He's been working in the mines for God knows how long. And, uh, Listen, maybe. every single one will be will be armed. They will be armed with a handgun. Or some kind of sword or machete or what whatever your people really lack. They can can have... they get robot arms and legs like you? Ah, well, these are a little bit specialty, but I'm sure if a group of them come together, work with some smarter individuals here, they can make themselves robot arms, robot legs, do anything they like. Hmm. 
paid vacation days. We're gonna need to talk about those too. Yeah, yeah. Twelve yeah. months. We get a good, good, solid year in here. We'll see what happens. What do you say about housing? I don't know. It's mainly water. Yeah, yeah. There's. It's gonna be a big change. I understand. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Let's, let's go. And I'm just walking and still rifling through the paper. <laughs> yeah. Just rifling through the the papers and getting blood on them. Yeah. <laughs> Your dirty fingers from like falling in in the pit and stuff like that, and pushing minecarts around, C- circling all the. Uh, now, now, uh, it was Gromit, right? Gromit, just re- Gromit, just remember that's an original. That's uh, that's the only copy. Okay. We need these in triplicate, sir. It's kind of weird why you said that. I'm just saying that your friend there is uh. He could use a shower or bath. Oh. Yeah, we, we can rewrite it, right? Absolutely not. Well, oh, I'll be sure we're, to we're, we're uh, going come to. back with <laughs> We're going to. <laughs> we'll correct this real quick. We're, we're on the negotiation table. I don't want my friend Gromit mm. and his people screwed over. Ah, I ain't nobody getting screwed. You guys are in hard living stance, and I have have the ability to provide yeah but you know when you know they're desperate you're more likely to squeeze for what you can hey what's this squeezing clause in here (laughs) it's literally written in the contract oh my god i didn't think you'd be that blatant about it hey listen sometimes you gotta get straight to the point look just just because it's a grunt doesn't mean you can't read it doesn't mean i can't read (laughs) No, I can't read. I'm just not good at writing. <laughs> just because he's a grunt doesn't mean he can't read. No, I can't read. <laughs> All right, hey, you guys. Robin, back me up here. <laughs> you guys. Like I said, I'm, I don't write. I read. I can read, sort of. And... So you guys uh, stroll your guys' way back to Evan's home, where it's here that uh, you can see that it's still fully boarded up, and you can hear the the voices from the inside. You can hear that there's young women saying that his their father shouldn't go out there, and he's he's stating and demanding that he should make his way out to go ensure that his son is safe. All right, I'm just gonna just loudly knock on the door and say, "Father, I have returned." Evan. Evan, see, see, I told you two that you guys just needed to stop going on. As uh, you can hear, like a couple of locks undo, and the door flies open, and you can hear the two, and they're just the two in the back. They're like, "Ah, oh, is he staying for long?" God, no, not good. Ugh. Uh, we we took a little journey down to the inside of the mine, like you said, not to. And uh... I really recommended you not to, but you went anyways. Yep. Damn right he did. He's a hero. He should all. Seems be- like a good idea at the time. No one else was gonna take care of the problem. <laughs> Actually, guys, I'll be right back. One second. I think someone's like knocking on my door. Sure. Knock on his dick. <laughs> okay uh so so far like does the game work a lot better now that we're trying to start earlier by the way yes we're all much more awake right (laughs) uh this is what i'm hopefully aiming for for like going forward hopefully we can start start by like 7 30 7 45 if that works for you guys for me i'm down sick that's so fucking like, great. Work ends for freaking three thirty for me, so I'm yeah. be okay with it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Did you get some Amazon? What'd you get? No, it wasn't anyone at my door. It just someone was banging apparently next door. Oh, two wow. neighbors going at it. Okay. <laughs> well, no, not like that banging. <laughs> sure. If you want to believe that, go for it. <laughs> Damn neighbors banging. <laughs> Sounds definitely like they're using a hammer putting up something. 
Uh, but Connor just went to the wa- washroom real quick. But uh, what I was asking them is uh, this starting earlier. Does this feel a lot better for you, Ron? Or at least... Always. As okay. long as people aren't falling asleep. Usually it doesn't bother me either way. Yeah. It just, uh, if other people aren't falling asleep, it's better than if they are. Yeah, last week crept on me real hard. It was pretty rough. I was, the whole, I... Yeah, the uh, first night of the whole clown session or whatever... Like towards the end, I was just like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it's still going. I'm so tired." No. I mean, of course, like uh, I get off work, I usually get home at around like five thirty. So starting two hours afterwards, it gives me enough time to still get stuff to eat and whatever. Yeah, you can get all of the things done. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick, and then uh, we'll continue because I even have what I think I. I think you guys are going to do next. I have all that written as well. Not saying that we're going to do it all, but... It was like Gertie in the mine. I thought Gertie died. <laughs> we should just post that. Hold up. Let me just... I mean... How old was Gertie? I mean... She wasn't exactly as young and spry as she used to be. And... If she wanted to be questioned, she would have like gone as monk or something. She was a, some form of monk fighter, I believe. Ooh, I dirty. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. a straight rogue. No, she no, no, she's straight. a rogue. She's straight rogue. She's a grapple rogue. Yes. And confused. Yeah, she do the she do the grapple. She's my grapple buddy. And um, I, I, I'm trying to convince her that we should try to tear somebody in half. <laughs> like, just, just the fact that you haven't succeeded already saddens me. I've only tried, like, once. The fact that it didn't work the first time saddens me. <laughs> Like, we we needed no argumentation or extra asking to rip apart a displacer beast. That was really one of the best moments in Nate's campaign. Nope. <laughs> wish boning, wish boning a displacer beast was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Who's the slime boning? No, no, so in, in, in Nate's real-life campaign, at one point, um, me and one of the other characters were both strength-based characters, and we decided we wanted to wishbone a displacer beast, just tear it in half. That's funny. <laughs> we had the strength score to do it, too. <laughs> I was a level one character with 20 strength, because Nate let me roll for my stats. Like, this dude was basically born muscle on muscle. His name was Fudge. Okay. Fudge did not know many, but he did know strong. (laughs) So you guys go into Evan's home here, and you can see that it's a a quiet town home. You can see that it was all, like, boarded boarded up from uh, the inside for a little while. But uh, it's here that you guys enter in, and... Evan, it's like you never left, except for the fact that all the food that you guys had is kind of out on the table, like you get, like they were trying to ration on the inside. God, you guys must have been living like animals in here. Well, I mean, father must have. You two always have. Hey, just because you're some town hero thing doesn't mean you can go trashing us. Oh what, you gonna just like bring your friends in and you're just gonna like walk all back in here? You know, you just Father, walked out of town one day. What gives you the right? Father, how is everything doing? Terrible, son. 
It sounds like it. Every minute is worse than the last. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you can go outside. <laughs> the fresh air is more. the fresh air is nice. Yeah. God, shit went to hell when I left. I was only gone for a week, a little over. Well, ever since uh, the explosion and the fog came rolling through, people began to panic, and they seemingly turned on each other, those who were out in the streets too long. Yeah, some people died. Blood was spilled. But you should have saw it. There was this giant tentacle that sounds that crazy old lady Carol person was just <laughs> I, I don't know I think it might have been the cause of the gas or something because like once we hit it enough times it retreated back into a hole back in the mine which by the way I don't think you should go down there anytime soon I don't think so either I don't think I'm returning there yeah good <laughs> I, I don't want to go down there ever again <laughs> Listen. There's monsters. There's literal monsters until like that tentacle left, and they all ran with it. But I, I have no clue what the hell that thing was. Meesh. Listen, as he like pats off your jacket and all like the dirt and grime, and you got stains on it and stuff. He's like, "You guys stay here as long as you need. Just, I'm glad you're safe." Thanks. Yeah. You guys, can I just look and just see if there's any actual food left that might be edible? Oh, yeah. There, there's definitely, like, cans cans of beans and canned tomatoes. and <sighs> We we could probably use a bite. I know there's not much left. Um, God, I don't even know how, how they're doing in town either. So I still think that, like, Evan tells himself that it's, even though we have this and we're good now, we still need to ration what's left until the quote-unquote economy recovers from the state of emergency. <laughs> yeah, absolutely screwed over town. Yeah. We'll sort this out. Screwed over the world. We're just thankful for what you guys have done out of the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. No, no worries, but to be quite honest, Father, we're actually just passing through. You're going to leave again. Yeah, there's a lot more going on than just this. Have you seen outside? Like, and I just yes, talk about. Of course. Yeah, well, I think somehow it's all circled around some stuff we've been following. And I just point to Sir Nicholas and be like, and somehow this guy is tied to it. Look, I don't remember anything. I remember my family, I remember the last. Uh, remember the last expedition? Everything else is a blur. I don't even remember what spell I cast to do this to me. And then, Father, we fought this rat the size of a building, the size of a whole fucking house. The rat the size of a house? Yeah, and it was injecting itself with corium. It had corium jolting out of it like some kind of freakish abomination. And did you know that if you take corium and just stick it in your body like some <laughs> kind of dagger or something, you could mutate into a monster? These rats were doing it. We've been killing them for days. It's I'm sorry, not, to, like, not yeah. him to laugh, but it's a funny expression. Um. <laughs> just just jam yourself with sparkly rocks. Um but we didn't say small rats. Yeah. That all sounds but terrifying. We've been through a and lot. You've, you've, I mean, I... This has been within your time that you've been gone. This is it sounds like you've done more in the past week than you really explored in your entire life here. It feels that way. Yeah. I, I could think that's an accurate statement. That's definitely been a long state of affairs. Um, you always had a knack for adventure and a knack to always want to leave the town, but I didn't expect it to get so serious so quick. Oh, no, it escalated very quickly. 
The second I left, the place exploded. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> also happened. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it seems like that was a bomb you were building. Yeah, but... No. No. <laughs> Wouldn't have done anything like that. Wouldn't have done anything like that. Uh, your father goes to each of you and kind of pats off all like the rubble and dirt that m maybe all the musk and stuff like that that you guys would have accumulated from being inside uh, inside the mines and he goes listen anything you need cleaned or washed just leave it here we'll we'll do it while you guys get some rest just take our rooms we're eternally grateful for everything you've done for the town I'd be like, I just look at the two dirtiest people that I can see out of our group and just point to like, you two, you should get my sister's room. They probably have the softest beds. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, absolutely. It's probably Todd because he was on the ground and yourself because Gromit's got a new suit on. And I, I choose Gromit then simply because, you know, <laughs> he's, he's a slimy toad, maybe. He's got poisonous in his like skin so. he, do, he does need to sleep in water yeah that's the thing yeah <laughs> okay fine did, did you buy one where the your daughters have a water bed a water bed <laughs> yeah i, I still like, point to you know pull, like, just pull the bat the the little wooden bathtub that they have inside <laughs> inside the bedroom <sighs> it just well you guys sort it out i don't care and I just head upstairs to my room and go to bed. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. Gonna, I'm going to okay. find huh. a nice big bucket. Okay. I want to talk to Dad and ask if he has any. Also, a uh, do a tang long agreement you need for the. No, it was show up to work and get paid if you find something. Hmm. Well, that's kind of bullshit then. It was it was well paying work if you found Corium down in the mine. Yeah, but how often do you find a dad? Not often enough, it seemed. Right. Except for that damn fox that came in the one day. First day. Striking luck. And I just, actually, before I leave, it's like, I just walk up, it's like, uh, also, it's like, I just show him the chunk of Corium. Then I go to Todd, I'm like, okay, it's like, so that's this we long want, journey. And then we also want the union. And then agreement that there should be union with the rest of these guys. <laughs> yep, yep. Writing down those notes. He looks at the chunk of Corium, and he's just like, this could run the entire drill rig. Like, you have an incredible find here. Yeah. Well, unfortunately for me, rats are attracted to it. So I'm like a walking beacon. What if we use the drill? With the cardio, drill? And then we drill towards them. Well, I hope you find good use to it. Use the drill to kill them. <laughs> what? They're not super weird. Uh, well. Either way, and I, I continue on back upstairs. My character's going to sleep. Okay. He's tired. So the, the two sisters are down here, and they're looking at um, both... Um, Sir Nicholas and Todd, and they're just like, "Ew, definitely not the one in the bandages is sleeping in my bed." And the other sister goes, "Well, you know, the other one's kind of young, kind of." Hey, what's your name? Yeah, Gromit. What's your name? No, they're looking at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 Why is that so fucking funny? <laughs> <laughs> they, 
they walk over and I'm, they they just go in and go, damn, I heard uh, I heard you saved the town or something. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and twin cast suggestion and tell them <laughs> to just do like a handstand off in the corner of the room while I walk away. Wisdom saves. Uh, two wisdom saves. I'll say that they're. I'll say they have a baseline of a ten whiz. One goes off and does a handstand. All of a sudden. You should probably deal with your weird sister, I tell the other one. And I just fuck off back into the... <laughs> fuck, I told you, Dad, not to open the door. The fog wasn't all gone. Look. <laughs> and I'm just going to concentrate on that for about eight hours. <laughs> Can you concentrate while you sleep? No. Probably not. I'm just going to concentrate on it until the point where, like, I just can't concentrate. <laughs> but, uh, but also, suggestion will last an hour. Uh, eight, eight hours, sir. Eight hours. It does. Damn. <laughs> Technically, it lasts until they complete the task. Yeah. Oh, like, she if, did. If you give them an open-ended... <laughs> give... Yeah, if you just give them an open-ended task, they just keep doing it until you For drop hours. That wasn't open-ended, that was do a task. Yeah, she does the handstand yeah. and then holds it for a few moments and then brings it back down. I never told her to stop. <laughs> Th that's not... You didn't tell her, you didn't give her... That was too vague of a suggestion. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And they go, hey, wait, he made me do that. Ew, actually, you're not even that... Ugh, you're gross. You're one of my brother's friends. You're gross. Hey, man, I would... Oh, fuck, right. No, that wasn't subtle cast shit. Yeah, she knew. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, <well>, whatever. <laughs> Don't you care. didn't like these people anyway. <laughs> As you nope. see that they both go up to their rooms and shut their doors. The whole time, Anthrax is just like, Don't do it. Don't, don't fucking do it. It's a bad idea right there. <laughs> I know from experience. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> you can see here that Evan's dad has finished um, pouring like a small cup of tea and brings it over to Sir Nicholas. And he goes, I don't know what my son was going on about too much, but if there is some kind of problem and it is being related to you, that's a heavy weight. And I'm sorry that you have to bear it. And he hands you the, the tea with a cup. Hmm? Nicholas? <laughs> oh. I was sleeping in a bucket. <laughs> like nice. I said, I'm going to take a bucket and sleep in a bucket. All right. The whole time. Uh, he makes himself a tea and goes and sit down on uh, in the kitchen. Then <laughs> never mind. He's not gonna go after the goop in a bucket. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it's Gromit and um, Todd. You guys are just kind of in the home. I I, I want to go over this agree this. <laughs> we're, with them, so. we're, we're allowing unionization uh, mm -hmm. we get the uh, benefits at uh, three months not one year you can get bet with that three months yeah uh, good starting pay gotta got get that proper living wage in there yeah that's the first that agreement that we month. get paid for whatever coin that we find as well yep yep that's that's in there just any possible negative thing. We're just all like, this got to go. No, thank you. <laughs> We're all we smiles here. Also, we'll need like, um, possibility of pools in the mines in case if we need to stay down there for longer so that we can survive. Okay. Mandatory and, pools, yes. Yes, mandatory pools. <laughs> Uh, possibility of moving up in the ranks. That's that's got to be in there. That's yep. Got to got to work our way up to the top, boys. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, anything else you can think Maternity of? leave to care for the egg clusters. Yes, that <laughs> yep, too. Yep, yep, 100%. Absolute must. <laughs> egg clusters. Yeah, we actually do need a repopulation clause because, you know. Yeah, that one's kind of a, a big deal. Okay. Repopulation clause. Repopulation clause. Um, what else can we do? I mean, I don't know if we'll be able to mine the corium, but we can certainly find it. So scouting with a certain percentage for the finding of the corium. Uh, percentage royalties, mandatory. like royalty percentages. Yeah, yeah discovery, discovery royalties. Yeah. <laughs> discovery royalties. Well, yeah, if if we're able to go so deep, then they should be able to. Okay. Got to get the bodyguards in there. Mm-hmm. Mandatory bodyguards per group. PPE mandatory. PPE, yeah. Okay. Uh, you got uh, people to protect. Three. What was that, Caleb? You broke up. <laughs> I said you gotta have that class three PPE. Yeah, gotta have that class three PPE. It's dark down there. Like if you see a flashlight, what, are, what is this? What's this bullshit? Like a black jacket, and then it's got that green X on it. Like you're not gonna see that. It's gonna be too late if you're going too fast. You're like, come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta mm-hmm. have it. Need it, want it. <laughs> Camp. Mm-hmm. I think that's more or, less be our, uh, more or less. More can come later, and then mm-hmm. uh, hopefully, if the other workers here see this and they're not agree with it or want also, then we they we will be able to push hopefully for that they get better rates as well. Yeah, there we go. A uh, little clause in here just to be like, oh hey, if we want to negotiate stuff, uh, we can do that too. More negotiation for later on, just in case they need anything more. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. No strikes. If this is an agreement, then no strikes for three years until the next agreement. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're in there. We're business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, uh, I wish my fucking union actually worked this good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only two people at the starting negotiation. That's all this yeah. is. That's what this is. It's just like, yeah, everything's going to be great. That's how it always starts. <laughs> That's exactly how it always starts. To be You're fair, that is how unions start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, both of us took a vote. Yeah. And we are in agreement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Look, if it yeah. doesn't go all that way, then yeah, we'll start a mob union because <laughs> <laughs> the grunts are anywhere selling weapons to people, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And uh, yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I will give you guys all a long rest so you can collect everything that you needed back. Mm-hmm. Were you guys level five before? Um, yes. Say it. Say it. Say it. Do it. Say it. Do it. Thank you say guys it. are now level five. So you finish your long rest. Do it. Do it. Yeah, you guys are level five. And you guys finish your long rest. That, then, that's it. And then. Oh. <laughs> You said. Yeah, what did, did I say? say? What did I say? He's not gonna do it mid session. Like at the end of the session, which we are rapidly approaching. He said when we were done here. That what? <laughs> that we were done with the cave. That what did we I were say? Done with the cave. You know darn well what you said. When did I say such thing? The uh, last uh, session we had, which was like, you know, a month ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. things I said a month ago definitely don't exist today. So as you guys wake up uh, from... Not according to the law, sir. <laughs> I mean, they're on YouTube, so... <laughs> yeah. Clip it. So. <laughs> you guys wake up from the long rest. And... Uh, there's provisions and stuff like that in the morning drafted together by your father. 
Evan. Because you said you're kind of getting in and out of here. So, Evan, you wake up and you're in your room. You had all your draft notes out on a table where you remember that you got your first pistol. You had a note where it told you about before how you had to head out to um, head out to find the caravan out in the woods. You remember that note being written now by the person that you've come accustomed to, Scarlet Hayes. You remember her. You remember the last time that you were here. It was much calmer than it is now. Just wake up. I mean, I think I would still have the note on me unless it probably got destroyed over time. And you'd still have it if it's like in your pack or something. I just kind of pull it out and just reread it, reminisce over it and think about everything that's happened since the very last time I had discovered this note probably in my very bed. Just think, damn. The hell is going on? I'll just get up. I'm still completely baffled of the amount of chaos that's changed in that short period of time. Short period of time. And kind of just try and find out where the rest of my uh, party ended up. <laughs> Okay. You uh you head out of the room here and you first find um you're first obviously going to find Sir Nicholas inside of a bucket completely filling it to the top. Before you head downstairs, you can see that both Gromit and Todd have passed out on a table going over paperwork. <laughs> It's like just over by candlelight. Really went ham on hashing that out. Kudos to you. I don't even think I have the patience to deal with that. But time to wake up. <laughs> oh, Evan isn't just gonna Did shoot a just... gun in the air. <laughs> I'm inside. Did he yell that? <laughs> just just shoot it out yeah, the door. No, I just yell it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Kind of dry. <laughs> yeah, are you are you too um did you really just stay up all night hashing out a new contract? Did you even finish? Maybe. Maybe. I look over my notes. You look yes. over your notes and it's just like you kind of started going off and you're just like dot 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 Not. more money dot dot mm -hmm. dot get paid dot 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 20% nice Todd story. Limited. <laughs> I just gotta sit down and finish it up real quick. <laughs> Properly. Well, yep, there we go. We're good. Okay. That's on the back of one of our manuals. I don't think that's legal. Like, that counts. Look, it's on paper. Anything's legal. <laughs> All parties sign it. It's legal. Yeah, man. I want to show it to Todd's dad. Just says like, and then we can also help you with your uh, agreements. Yeah, Todd's dad comes over with five packs of um, just uh, some food and stuff like that, and water containers and stuff that are five packages ready for each of you. As did a, you say Todd's dead? Because I was about to be I'm like, sorry. how how did Anthony get Evan's so strong? Dad. <laughs> Evan's dad. <laughs> Evan's dad comes along with five of these like little to go packs, and uh, yeah, you guys hand him this contract and talk to him about like unionizing the yeah. people who work here with the grungs when they get here. And he goes, "Sounds like a real support system. It sounds like." We're going to overthrow all a chest a little bit and kind of knock him off his game. I'll talk to some of the people in town. Let them know what's coming. 
just make them sound like, hey, how do they get these business? You know, just very, very different. Well, maybe we can come at it like, look at what the mind did to you. Now, what can the mind do for you? Mm, that's the idea. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he... You know, I'm actually kind of happy that you guys are actually given to that guy. Seemed like an asshole, if you ask me. You know what? Maybe that's all he needs, because he seems like he likes to work, but maybe he just needs a fucking kick in the ass once in a while. Yeah. Gotta try. Well, Evan, there's packs for you and your friends. I'm not sure where you're off to next or what kind of business that you guys are off to go and explore or other adventures or things that you are capable of doing. But I wish you the best, and I wish you safe travel. Thanks, Father. But, uh, yeah, we better make our leave before this moon comes crashing down or whatever it's trying to do. I think we get to the bottom of that shit too. Watch. All right. Mm-hmm. He gives each of you your your packs. And where are you guys headed to? What was your plan? Yeah, what was our plan? We're heading to north. To the, we're going to the observatory. Fredegar. I think that's where we're going. If I'm not mistaken. Up the mountainside. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I need to do that. Cold boots. What about cold I'm boots? Gonna stop by, I'm going to stop by that uh, place where I got the winter boot. Or no. Yeah, they gave me the winter boots. Mountains. Stop by that place. Mountains Peaks Supply Hut. Yeah, I highly doubt they have anything if they're even up and running. Actually, with, when you go over, you can see that the boards on this building have been undone. And you can see that there's a hardy orc there with his door open with an open sign. As it was only one person before running the building. Okay, perfect. This guy, oh man, he's his own self-defense mechanism. <laughs> I just walk in there. Like, hey, remember me? His name was Pronto Lone. Mr. Loam, remember me? I do. A few weeks a few weeks ago you came in. I gave you those shiny shoes. I see you're not wearing those shiny shoes. Yeah, so a lot has happened since I came in last. I just say uh He kinda points up to his roof and he goes, A lot has changed. I ended up having to sell those to be able to be honest. <laughs> But uh, it's kind of why I'm here. We're, we're heading back up the mountain. Back and, up uh, the mountain. Yeah, so I'm actually going to need a little bit more. Um, I have some coin this time. For the five of you. Yep. Five of us. Yeesh. He kind of like goes to like... Four and half. <laughs> he kind of like goes to look over all of his things. And he goes, you know, not many people get too outfitted. Some people kind of want to go to the base of the mountain. Just go kind of take a look. As uh, you see that he pulls out, like, (laughs) I can't believe Gromit's going to get another set of clothing. But... (laughs) (laughs) An outfit. (laughs) You can see that there's all of these, like... There's like different sets where there's like an insulated jacket or you can get like an insulated fur jacket. You can get like those um, those caps that we have here, Connor, like in Canada, those ones with the fur on the inside. But it has like the, the, gifts, yeah. the fur for the forehead. Yeah. Like the fur um, on the outside of the forehead. Yeah. Just like a classic Canadian winter hat. Yeah, I want one of those. <laughs> Yeah, when you saw those with the flaps for the fingers. You can see like there's one of those caps that are just like the the old Russian ones where it's like the raccoon cap. So do you take anything in trade or are you specifically coin only dealer? Oh, I'm more of a seller. I'm not big on a trading. I kinda buy the gear from out west, 
bring it here and sell it to those who need it. That's well, fair, that's fair. How much is for that's just set of winter clothing? Not for myself, to be honest. For what you guys did out there. Give you guys a set of boots. Give you guys a underclothing and a jacket, a hat. Keep you nice and warm going all the way up there. And honestly, he pulls out like uh, some small like thermoses. My hot cocoa going up. Hot Tw- cocoa, you say? 25 gold pieces each. All right. It's a fifth it's a lot of hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got five different like little cantinas of hot cocoa that go along with each subset of clothing. Uh eek. This is kind of awkward. I just pull out my coin purse and shake three coins on there. <laughs> three gold. Um, what can I get for three gold? <laughs> how are the friend? How are the rest of your friends looking? Is there any money going around? Well, and I, I literally just reach into myself and pull out some coins that were floating there and set them on the counter. They're still gooey, and I'm like, oh. I've got fifteen. I just put coins to yeah. Like, uh, Grama, do you not have much money either? I got. I mean, to be fair, Alex, actually, how much kinda, gold do you think you? Because I don't buy money? stuff really, so yeah, I got money. Grama, how much money does Grama have? For some reason, I have like forty gold. <laughs> Jesus. That's not right. Yeah, much <laughs> me, me and uh. Me, like, me, I wouldn't be buying yeah, stuff, I just collect or... things, right? Mm-hmm. I guess. How much, money, I... how much money does Todd have? Uh, 23 gold and 20 silver. Okay. I've been keeping track. Listen, if you can make it up, I'll knock them down to 20 each. So and I bid you good day, sir. And then I just scoop my three coins up. It's like, I appreciate it, but I'm too broke to just discuss this. You know, the one thing that does get sold in town, though, is that corium. Gets sold directly in town here. If you guys got any shards, smaller pieces. Well, you previously said you won't take trade, but that's... Talking my business. I actually I happen to do have some corium. Well, it does get sold directly here in town. There's a there's a buyer, and he like points next door to the shop. <laughs> uh, it's see. as good as gold here. It's as good as gold. Let's Just see. as long as he doesn't keep fucking around with changing those arm pieces and build one out of corium. How many people do we have here? Five. Yeah, I have a total of eight shards of corium. Jesus. <laughs> that, that's what I get for saving all up and never using a single piece. Yeah. How much How much were they worth each? Uh, 20 gold. Or they're frags, uh, fragments. I, get, I got eight fragments. They're 20 gold each. So you have 160 gold worth. Yeah. So You can trade five and get everyone's outfits. Six, actually. Five of you at 20 gold pieces each. Oh, I thought you said 25 gold pieces. He knocked it yeah, down, he to down to 20. down to 20. My brain was sitting there trying to make the math work for how <laughs> the other one work. Okay. Then, yeah, that'll work. Uh, well, shit. Now you're talking my business. And I just pull out five shiny rocks. And then I set them on the table and scoop them back up. <laughs> Set them on the table. It's always a hard time letting go of such scoop a pretty thing. Scoop them back thing. up. <laughs> <sighs> Set them on the table. And just 
stare at them blankly until someone else touches them. He leans over the table and he puts a hand to the side of the rocks. Not like on top of them, but beside it. And he goes, mm-hmm. listen, I know a lot of people have a hard time letting go of this stuff. Now, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to sell it. I'm telling you that I'm not going to be one that's holding on to it. That doesn't make it hurt any less than I will have it. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. I'll get over it. I didn't have it to begin with. All right. Well, everyone get some cold gear, except for actually you, Gromit. I don't think you can... Uh, I don't know how you Groms work out in the cold. Seems yeah, like it would affect I... you pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to get... say I'm already like putting clothes on and I have like just a giant <laughs> cloak and then I have one of those Canadian like rusky hats on. <laughs> yeah, is is it called a husky hat? Um... Uh, I knew what they were called. It's not a parka, is it? No, it's literally called... Ooh, hold on. The Yushinka hat. Yushinka, right? Yeah. Yep, it's an Ushinoka hat, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna... I know the one you're talking about, where it's got yeah, the yeah. funny ear flaps. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah. I, I'm just posting yeah, it that's in now. Hat. I'm posting it in now. Like, you're gonna see a grung wearing one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already on a hero for it to see if they have Ushinoka hats. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new mini. <laughs> Just for every area he goes to, he gets a new mini. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, to be fair, he does have a disguise kit, and this makes perfect disguise kit. Yeah. So you guys get complete, completely outfitted. Take your uh, thermostat of cocoa. And you guys leave out the northern... Um, quarters of town. You guys trek through some of the woods before you find the base of the mountainside. It is here that the you never traveled this close to the mountainside, Evan, before. But only Sir Nicholas came down in a carriage before. This thing is daunting. This mountain is a massive cliffside. And it's only at like where it almost brinks or reaches uh, like the, the the top part of the mountain is the own from from the base is the only bit that you can see just the peak of the observatory. You can only see like there's a direction to go. And it's just up. But you can see on the actual cliffside. There's two different directions to take. You can see that one way is much steeper. And it seems like it's going to be harder to climb the terrain. Or there's a pathway that takes longer. But it's easier to to get to the top. And there's an actual bit where I've made, if you guys choose in either direction, there's a shorter, more difficult way to get up the cliffside. Or there is a long and easier way to go up the cliffside. Well, I mean, if we're going to go for it. We're going for it. I think we Why should not? go the rough track of the hard one. Yeah, same. Going for speed. As you guys uh, pack yourselves up, get all your winter winter gear on between the, your boots, your uh, underclothing, jackets, and hats on, you begin walking the way up the uh, face of the mountain. And I think Kelly would be mad if we continued from there. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I'm preparing spider climb. 
Also, Gromit, remember that you own a grappling hook. Oh. <laughs> Thank yeah, you for reminding him. Yeah. Remember that thing. Oh, I do, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, I uh, thought that, I thought the tentacle was going to be way more dangerous. I mean, good. Eh, it was. You guys made every saving throw. Uh, it was. It was just we we did good uh, <laughs> as far as our rolls and our saving throws, and uh, I mean, we were all out of resources. Like, yeah. Him going down means he was going to be out of the fight. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, uh, you guys, you guys didn't get struck by the stun. You guys didn't get struck by the, um, the, the dizzying vision, which gives you disadvantage on your next attack or spell. The, the bright lights and the stun for hypnotism makes your character stunned for a turn. The, the ground explosion only hit Todd once and he succeeded over it. Um, but then I dropped anyway. Yep. Yeah. There was a... On the layer action, there was also Fog Cloud, which uh, also gave people, like, another point to their, like, uh, the Fog Insanity. Ew. You guys saved from, like, pretty much ev everything. Every single time. It was, like, a save, 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 save. <laughs> Good shit. Less is helpful. Yeah. <laughs> You guys definitely did quite well. I saved Bless all the way up until what I thought was hopefully a boss fight, and then and then Bless he did disappoint awesome. by giving us a boss fight. But you guys have also decided on the um, hard and fast encounter route. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. I prepared spider climb. <laughs> <laughs> I prepared Featherful. Okay. I, have a... I was looking you at my spells, that. and it turns out that I wasn't preparing a couple spells that I had the ability to do so. Like, oh, that sucks. So I planned on um, at one at one point if you complete a task that comes ahead, because there's events, so it's. You have to do a certain amount of events because you guys are doing a short path versus doing a certain amount of events for a long path. If you guys hit one and complete one, you can have the hot cocoa at the end and get a short rest. Neat. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah. Nobody can not just not drink theirs. It's kind of like a collective huddle in the cold. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So you guys have Coco like a, break. yeah, you guys have a short rest on hand to climb the mountain. Nice. So I can be a little less conservative with my spell slot. That's the idea because, well, I thought the other one was going to be difficult. I definitely built this as a. <laughs> I don't think climbing a mountain is easy. Oh, no, definitely not. Well, it depends on the mountain. You can you can literally hike to the top of Mount Jellico, but right. So so last time, in like in Curse of Strahd, where there was a mountain to go to, it was like yeah, you can go from the village to the Amber Temple without a single encounter, and that's when I built like the purple worm thing where you guys went into the mountain. But this time, you guys are staying on the outside of the mountain. A similar problem in monster session because they're climbing a mountain, but this mountain is mostly pe peaceful with like the most dangerous enemies that, that are gonna encounter being rocks, and their party just absolutely decimates. Okay, yeah, there's a fairly strong there's events with uh with the actual mountainside, so it's not just beat them up or laser down an opponent. I'm glad you guys picked the hard path. I am I am wildly interested to know how it goes. Me as well. 
Uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> going to be real interesting. Ghost Dad, catch me. No. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I'm uh I'm glad to be back at it. This was good. Me too, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's and, fun. Uh, I love this game so much. I mean, the dragons it just that gives you a lot to play with. So here. But uh, yeah, I hope uh if we can start like start around that time, like 7:45, everyone will be like really up and at it. And it'll be really good for everybody. Agreed. And at them, because it's uh it's not even eleven, and uh, we're all just pretty good. Yeah. And we got a decent long set, my time session. Is. 